Hello everyone, today's lesson will be about union of sets. And for today's discussion, we'll be having virtual role play on how online seller sells food online. And I've also asked my friends to participate on this lesson. So shall we start? Three, two, one, go! Hello buyers, welcome to my online business that caters food is what you call aratna or tarana it's like food on the go now my menus are sinagang or fried rice hot dog tasino itlog known as egg and pork chop so for your orders you may call our telephone number one two three three two one <laughs> Let us now ask their orders. Can I have one pork silo? Thank you. One hot silo, please. May I order one pork silo, please? Thank you. And now in here, I'll be having a virtual arrangement of their orders. Our customer number one, Miss Eden, her order is pork silog. And how can we make pork silog? So pork silog will be consist of pork chop, sinangag, and itlog. Our next customer, Miss Aika, her order is hot silog. And this will be hot dog, sinangag, and itlog. And our last customer is Mungchi. Her order is Tosilog. And that's Tosino, Sinangag, and Itlog. Since orders are completed, let us now relate it to our lesson in math, which is about union of sets. Let us now define the union of sets. The union of sets is made by combining the elements of the sets, then removing any elements which have been listed twice or more. The union of sets A and B is written as A, U, B. And the symbol for that is the U, which means the union. Now, what do we mean by that? And let us relate it to the virtual role play that we have a while ago. On the first one, Miss Eden ordered pork silog. It is named as one, but it's not really one. It is because pork silog means pork chop, sinangag, and itlog. As you observe, we are combining three members. Next one, Miss Aika ordered hot silog. And again, we are combining three. And what are those? Hot dog, sinangag, and ditlog. And for the last one, Miss Chi, she ordered tosilog. And that is again, not just one, but it's three. And what are those? We have tosino, sinangag, and ditlog. So that is how union of sets is all about. From different sets, we're combining them as one. Let us have specific examples of it. Find the union of the following sets. Set A has the elements 1 and 2. And set B has the elements 3, 4, and 5. Now, we're going to find A union B. Remember, from its definition, you need to combine the elements. Now, what are those elements that we're going to combine? So, we have the elements in A, 1 and 2. Then the symbol for the union. Then write the elements of B, which are 3, 4, and 5. So, once again, combine the elements. Therefore, A, union B, will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's all. It's easy, right? Let us have number 2. C, union D. Set C has the elements 1, 2, and 3. Then the symbol for the union, and set D has the elements 3, 7, and 8. Observe carefully. Are there common numbers from C and D? Yes, there is. And what is that? That's number 3. 
From the definition a while ago, it is said that if there are similar elements, we'll just write it once. And therefore, our answers will be C union D will have the following elements 1, 2, 3, 7, and 8. Questions? If not, let's proceed to number 3. Let us have example number 3. As you observe, the elements are not numbers. They are what? That's correct. They are shapes. Set E has the following elements, heart and square. While set F has the following elements, triangle, diamond, heart, and the square. Now what will be our E union F? So let us write the elements. Set E has heart and square. The symbol for the union, then write again the elements of set F, which are triangle, diamond, heart, and the square. Now, observe carefully. Are there common elements? That's correct. There are common elements. And what are those common elements? That's correct. The heart and the square. So, remember, if there are common elements, if there are similar elements, then we'll write them as 1. And therefore, E union F will be triangle, diamond, heart, and square. Well, you can pause the video and try to answer this. Let's practice. Find the union of the following sets. Given that A has the elements 1, 3, 5, set B has the elements 2, 4, 6, 8, set C has the elements 8 and 9, and set D has the elements 3, 5, 7, and 10. So again, you can pause the video and try to answer the following. So this is what you are going to answer. Number 1, A union B. Number 2, B union C. Number 3, C union D. And number 4, B union D. And remember, you just need to combine the elements. And if there are similar elements, you will write them as 1. So let us check your answers for number one. Combine the elements. The answers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Number two. The answers are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Number three. 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And for the last one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10. So, are your answers correct? Well, if yes, then very good. And now, let us study union of sets using Venn diagram. Let us read first the direction. Find the union of the following sets. Set A has the elements 1 and 2, and set B has the elements 3, 4, and 5. From our last lesson, universal set and subset, we studied that we can use rectangle to represent the universal set. And we can use circles to represent the subset. Observe, are there common elements between A and B? That's correct. There are no common elements. And therefore, A is not a subset of B and B is not a subset of A. So how are we going to illustrate A and B? As you observe, set A has the elements 1 and 2. And set B has the elements 3, 4, 5. Now, how are we going to get the union of it? To get the union of it, let's go back to the definition. And that is to combine the elements. And when you combine the elements, this will be the answer. Observe what happened. That's correct. From yellow and blue, it becomes green. Why? This is because we already combined them as 1. And therefore, the shaded region will be our answer. And the elements who are being shaded on that region will be our A union B. And what are those? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let us have number 2. Set C has the elements 1, 2, and 3. 
while set B has the elements 3, 7, and 8. Observe carefully. Are there common elements? Yes, there are common elements. And what is that element? That's correct. That is 3. Now, if we're going to write it, or if we're going to represent it, we must show that 3 is part of C, and 3 is also a part of D. Now, how are we going to do that? That's it. As you observe, set C has the elements 1, 2, and 3, while set D has the elements 3, 7, and 8. Observe that 3 is between the circle of C and the circle of D. That is because 3 is part of C and 3 is part of D. Now, how are we going to find C union D? So again, we'll just combine them as one. And therefore, the shaded region will be our answer. And what are those elements under the shaded region? So we have C union D, 1, 2, 3, 7, and 8. Let us have again another practice. You can pause the video and get your scratch. This is what you are going to answer. For number 1, E has the elements A and B. F has the element C. For number 2, G has the elements A and B. And H has the elements B, C, and D. And this is what you're going to look for. E union F and G union H. Let us now check your answers for number 1. Since there are no common elements between E and F, this will be our illustration. Now, what will be its union? So again, you'll just combine all the elements of E and F. And therefore, our shaded region will be the answer. And what are the elements under the shaded region? We have E union F, and the answer will be A, B, and C. Check your answers. And for number 2, G has the elements A and B. H has the elements B, C, and D. Observe, are there common elements? Well, if yes, what is it? It's correct. B is common to them, and therefore, your illustration will be like this. A and B is part of G. B, C, and D is part of H. Now, what will be its union? So again, just simply combine the elements. And the elements of G and H will be the union of it. And therefore, our shaded region will be our answer. And what are the elements under E? That's correct. We have A, B, C, and D. That's all. I hope you've learned. For your assignments, study about intersection of sets. Thank you. So do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.